Hello class. Today, we will be diving into the fascinating world of endocrinology, specifically focusing on the intricate mechanisms of hormonal control and smooth muscle. Our journey will take us through various topics, exploring the key signaling pathways, physiological processes, and the consequences of disruptions in hormonal regulation. So, let's begin our exploration by understanding the fundamental concepts. Smooth muscle contraction plays a crucial role in numerous physiological processes, such as blood vessel diameter regulation, gastrointestinal motility, and uterine contractions. One of the primary signaling pathways involved in smooth muscle contraction is mediated through G-protein coupled receptors, GPCRs. GPCRs initiate a cascade of events that ultimately lead to the activation of myosin light chain kinase, MLCK, resulting in the phosphorylation of myosin and subsequent contraction of the smooth muscle fibers. Calcium ions, Ka2+, serve as crucial secondary messengers in the regulation of smooth muscle contraction. Upon stimulation through GPCRs or receptor tyrosine kinases, RTKs, an influx of extracellular calcium or release of intracellular calcium stores occurs. Elevated levels of calcium bind to comodulin, triggering the activation of MLCK and leading to smooth muscle contraction. Additionally, Calcium can also activate calcium-dependent potassium channels, resulting in smooth muscle relaxation. Neurotransmitters play a significant role in the regulation of smooth muscle contraction. For example, in the gastrointestinal system, excitatory neurotransmitters like acetylcholine and serotonin enhance smooth muscle contraction, while inhibitory neurotransmitters like nitric oxide and VIP, vasoactive intestinal peptide, promote relaxation. The precise balance between these opposing signals determines the rate and strength of smooth muscle contractions. Hormonal control plays a vital role in the regulation of blood vessel diameter. Various vasoconstrictors, such as endothelin-1 and angiotensin-2, promote smooth muscle contraction in blood vessel walls, leading to vasoconstriction and increased blood pressure. Conversely, vasodilators like nitric oxide and prostaglandins induce relaxation of smooth muscle, resulting in vasodilation and a decrease in blood pressure. Nitric oxide, NO, and prostaglandins are critical mediators of smooth muscle relaxation. NO, produced by endothelial cells and neuronal nitric oxide synthase, NOS, in smooth muscle cells, activates guanol cyclus, leading to the production of cyclic guanosine monophosphate, CGMP. CGMP then promotes smooth muscle relaxation by inhibiting MLCK and activating calcium-dependent potassium channels. Prostaglandins, such as PGE2, also contribute to smooth muscle relaxation by increasing intracellular levels of CAMP and activating protein kinase A. Hormones play a significant role in regulating gastrointestinal motility. For instance, motilin, released by enterochromaffin like cells in the stomach, promotes gastric contractions. Similarly, cholecystokinin, CCK, released by the duodenal mucosa, inhibits gastric emptying. The intricate interplay between various hormones, including gastrin, glucagon-like peptide 1, GLP-1, and peptide E, PYY, determines the overall coordination and efficiency of the gastrointestinal motility. Endocrine regulation is vital for successful uterine contractions during labor. Estrogen and progesterone play critical roles in modulating the timing and intensity of contractions. Estrogen enhances myometrial contractility, while progesterone exerts an inhibitory effect. The delicate balance of these hormones, along with the activation of oxytocin receptors and prostaglandins, ensures proper uterine contractions for delivery. In addition to hormonal regulation, smooth muscle cells can also influence their behavior through autocrine and paracrine signaling. Autocrine signaling involves the release of signaling molecules by a cell that acts on the same cell type, while paracrine signaling involves the release of signaling molecules that act on neighboring cells. Examples of autocrine and paracrine regulators in smooth muscle include endothelin-1, inositol triphosphate, IP3, and histamine, which modulate contraction or relaxation responses. Hormonal control of smooth muscle involves intricate interactions between membrane receptors. Receptors can be coupled to G-proteins, leading to downstream signaling cascades, or they can be tyrosine kinases, initiating kinase-mediated phosphorylation events. Understanding the specific receptor types and their mechanisms of action is crucial in deciphering the complexities of hormonal control in smooth muscle. Hypertension, or high blood pressure, often involves dysregulation of hormonal control in smooth muscle. Elevated levels of vasoconstrictors, such as angiotensin II, endothelin I, and aldosterone, along with impaired vasodilation due to reduced nitric oxide bioavailability, contribute to increased vascular resistance and hypertension. Targeting these hormonal imbalances is essential in managing hypertension and preventing its associated complications. 
gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD, involves the abnormal relaxation of the lower esophageal sphincter, LES, and the backflow of gastric contents into the esophagus. Hormonal factors, such as increased progesterone levels during pregnancy or hormonal imbalances in conditions like obesity, can contribute to lay dysfunction. Normalizing hormonal regulation and addressing underlying causes become critical in managing GERD. Various therapeutic strategies aim to modulate hormonal control and smooth muscle disorders. These include the use of specific receptor antagonists, such as angiotensin receptor blockers, ARBs, in hypertension, or the administration of exogenous hormones to restore normal hormonal balance, such as progesterone supplementation in some cases of uterine dysfunction. Deciphering the underlying hormonal abnormalities is crucial in designing effective therapeutic interventions. In conclusion, hormonal control is a fascinating and complex process that plays a pivotal role in the regulation of smooth muscle contraction. Understanding the intricate signaling pathways, interactions between receptors, and the impact of disruptions is crucial in managing smooth muscle disorders. By exploring the topics we discussed today, you have gained valuable insights into the world of endocrinology and its significance in maintaining physiological homeostasis. Remember to apply this knowledge in your future medical endeavors and continue exploring the captivating realm of endocrinology. Good luck, and let your curiosity drive you forward. I hope this script provides the necessary details and complexity for your project. If you have any further queries or need additional information, feel free to ask.